Hey guys, today I'll be showing you how to double the battery capacity of your Xiaomi M365 scooter. The benefits of this will be increased range and less voltage sag, at the cost of about 90 US dollars and an additional 4.5 pounds of weight. This mod is especially useful for those who have flashy scooters with custom firmware, which usually result in more power but increased battery consumption. What we're basically going to be doing is adding an additional battery wired in parallel to the original Xiaomi M365 battery. In this case, I'll be using this battery I bought from AliExpress. It is a 36 volt 8 amp hour lithium ion battery pack, which is about the same size as the original M365 battery at 36 volt and 7.8 amp hours. It has a built in battery management system and can be charged through the barrel port connector or through the discharge port connector. It originally came with a Dean's type connector, which I've already replaced with a XT60 connector. Just to warn you, it did take over two months to get the battery from, to ship to Canada. If you're thinking it's bad to mix different battery capacities in parallel, it is not. As long as all the cells are healthy in both packs, it should be fine. The next thing on the shopping list is the way to store the battery. I chose to go with this Roswheel bicycle bag, and it just happens to fit the additional battery. You will also need 1 meter of black and 1 meter of red 14 gauge silicone wire, 2 pairs of XT60 connectors, and an inline fuse holder with a 20 amp fuse. An optional battery meter and a 5.5 by 2.1 millimeter barrel connector is recommended, but not necessary. Some scrap thin wood and plastic sheet can be used to help improve the battery bag mount. Items will be linked in the description below. Now before I show you how to perform this mod to your scooter, we will be soldering to lithium ion batteries so there will always be a chance of something breaking or catching fire. Proceed at your own risk. You will need to know how to solder along with soldering iron and solder. You will also need a T10 Torx bit, a 3mm hex bit, wire cutters, electrical tape, a multimeter and some 4mm heat shrink tubing. There are some optional tools I used, but were not necessary. This included a 6 by one millimeter tap kit and a unit bit and a drill. Start by removing the battery cover and then the battery. Carefully cut the clear plastic battery covering. We're going to be making an extension cable directly from the battery terminals to an XT60 connector. It is best to measure and cut the two lengths of wire and solder them to the XT60 connector before soldering the wire ends to the battery. And make sure to double check that the polarity is correct. Secure the wires to the battery and reuse the plastic covering with electrical tape. Reinstall the battery to the scooter. Next, I made an extension cable about 70 centimeters long with a fuse holder near one end. Again, double checking the polarity. Remove the rubber grommet from the right side of the scooter. Then feed the extension cable through the neck of the scooter and into the battery compartment. Plug in the extension cable, install the fuse, and then measure the voltage at the other end while confirming the polarity. I cut away at the grommet to make space for the extension wire and then reinstalled it. Next we proceed to install the bicycle bag. You can simply strap the bag to the neck of the scooter but it will flop around. Or you can bolt the bag to your scooter like I did here. This way is more secure and will allow a bit more room for your feet. I took a plastic sheet that's about 2 millimeters thick and cut a piece that's 18 by 6.5 centimeters. I also cut a piece of 7mm thick wood in the same size. I then drilled two holes in both pieces. Using one of the pieces as a template, I marked its position on the neck of the scooter. I then drilled and tapped both holes. The top hole will not need to be drilled all the way through. 15mm should be deep enough. I then drilled two of the same holes through the bag. I secured the bag to the scooter with a plastic sheet on the inside of the bag and then using two M6 by 15mm long bolts, I bolted it to the neck. I then took the wood piece and using a unit bit, I drilled the two holes big enough to pass the head of the bolt through and then used this piece as a spacer to prevent the heads of the bolt from contacting the battery. Before we install the battery, we must make sure that both batteries are equal voltage with a maximum allowable difference of one volt. The best way to achieve this is to fully charge the original battery like normal and then fully charge the add-on battery with a 42 volt charger commonly used in budget electric skateboards. I'll also have a link to this charger in the description below. You could also use up the battery in the scooter till the voltage matches the add-on battery. Once the voltage is matched, you can install the battery and then plug the add-on battery into the extension harness. Charging this battery setup will be just like normal. Plug in the original charger into the scooter and it will charge both batteries at the same time. If you're like me and like to know what the voltage of my batteries are at, then you can wire up a battery meter with a barrel plug and then plug that into the charge port of the add-on battery. This will display the voltage of both the batteries. You can now go and enjoy the extended range of your Xiaomi scooter. With this mod, I've been able to travel much further compared to my usual 20km range. 
and much less battery sag is noticed when the batteries are low. I highly recommend this mod to people who suffer from range anxiety or who just want to explore further away from a power outlet. Anyways, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.